<laughs> well, hey there, beauty. It's me, Esther. Did you happen to read my latest blog post? It's called Three Clues That You Are Not Living in Your Healthy Feminine Energies. And I released it this past weekend. Today, I would like to talk to you about clue number two. And that is you are not asking for help. Did you know that it is an uber healthy, mature, feminine aspect to ask for help, especially from men? And not just men that you know, husband, boyfriend, brother, brother-in-law, neighbor, but men that you don't know, men on the street. And yet we don't do it. So why don't we ask for help? I'm going to speak to you from my experience because I went through a very long period where I didn't ask for help and it started in my early, early teens, like maybe even 11 or 12. And I believe I came to this conclusion, like I could ask for all the help I want, I'm never gonna get it, or it's never gonna be amount to anything, or it's not gonna be the help that I want. Then I moved into, I'm not gonna ask for help because people are gonna think I'm not smart enough, I'm not capable, I'm not able, I'm not good enough. And I was so deeply insecure, I didn't want that from happening. Then I had this weird subconscious belief and you know, so much weird stuff goes on in our subconscious that if I asked for help, then oh no, somewhere down the line, that person's gonna come and ask me for help and what if I don't wanna do it or I can't do it and I'll feel obligated. So let's avoid that, let's not ask for help. Then I went through a period of, oops, sorry. Then I went through a period of, I'm not gonna ask for help because people should be reading my mind and know <laughs> then I went through this period of I shouldn't have to ask for help because people should be reading my mind and know through my body language the things I say through the condition of my life that I need help and you know if people are not reading my mind then I'm not going to ask them for help so uh, honestly, the only time I asked for help was when I was like really, really, really desperate. And then I learned that it is perfectly okay and feminine quality to ask for help. And I started challenging myself to ask, ask for help. And what I found is when you ask for help, most people are willing to give you help. And if they can't give you the help that you need, they know someone. I can't help you, Esther, but I know someone who can. I have an idea for you. And that when I asked for help, people didn't think I was dumb or stupid or not capable. They just allowed me to be, to be vulnerable, to be emotional, to be in need. All feminine quality. I also noticed that the more I asked for help, the more help was offered to me without me even asking. And I really believe that's part of the feminine magic that we have when we are in our healthy feminine energies and we're in the flow of them and we're radiating them. We attract things to us on a whole different level, including people saying, hey, do you need any help before we even ask? So I enjoy asking for help now. I'll, I'll give you a little story. Yesterday I was on a hiking trip and this, this particular hike was pretty easy. <laughs> it was really nice, it was fun, it was easy. But we came to this place where we were walking downhill and I'm not so steady downhill, I'm better uphill. And I noticed that the train was a bit muddy and there was a good chance my trainers might slip and I might slip. So I had a guy in front of me and I had a guy behind me. And I called out to the guy in front of me and I said, Mato, turn around and reach out your hand. I need help getting down. He didn't hesitate. He turned around, he gave me my hand. He said, hold on to me, I will help you. At the same time, the guy behind me said, Esther, if you fall back, I got you. I will catch you. And I like, it was, it was so pleasant, it was so beautiful because I realized what was happening. I was in my healthy feminine energies asking for help 
and in doing so I allowed these two men to be in their healthy masculine energies to help me out see how that works when you ask for help especially from a man you allow him to be in his healthy masculine energies to offer help so that was just a beautiful example and an enjoyable experience and this is just one of the many many topics that we're going to discuss in the upcoming radiate your healthy feminine energies class it starts april 1st where i'm going to help you to assess four of the main feminine energies that we hold within our full essence the queen the lover the mother and the girl now why those four those are the four that come up the most in my holistic therapy practice. And I really believe that if you begin to develop and enhance those four energies, they will create a gorgeous foundation for you to live in the fullness of your feminine energies. We're going to assess them. And what do I mean by that? Are they in light? Are they shadow energies? Is one domineering and dominant over the other? Do you have some feminine energies that maybe are in hiding, scared to come out, um, just underdeveloped. Let's start to blossom them. Let's bring them out of hiding. If you've got a feminine energy that's very domineering and kind of rude and controlling, let's begin to tame that energy and create harmony with all of your feminine parts within. They are all wanted and all needed, light and shadow. Let's bring the ones in shadow into the light and honor them. The ones in hiding into the light and honor them and get them working in harmony for you because when this happens you're being more of your true self which i know all of you want to be because you were born in a female body with a feminine and an essence given to you by god when we talk about our divine feminine this is what we're talking about right and as you develop your healthy mature feminine energies rather than your immature or your shadow and i know a lot about both because i've lived in both you are you enjoy being a woman. You feel more settled, more comfortable being a woman. You are in the flow of your feminine essence. And we know that when we are in the flow at any time, that's when the magic happens, the manifestations, the creation. And I really believe and have experienced that when we are in the flow of our healthy feminine energies, we create this feminine magic around us that is amazing, amazing for us beneficial to the people around us and ultimately affects the world and that's what the world needs now it needs us to rise up and radiate in our healthy feminine energies so i'm going to include a link below please click on the link you'll find out more about this program how it unfolds there's three packages you have options to work with me on a coaching session or coaching session and inner work that's my specialty to help you to um, discover explore and change any limiting beliefs patterns outdated information concepts of reality unresolved memories hurts wounds within that are stopping you from being in the fullness of your healthy feminine energies and you have some options to choose from for this program it is a beta version because i'm testing out some new systems i'd like your feedback on those systems and so in exchange i'm giving a special pricing to all of you i can't wait to get started um, I'm really super excited about this. So let's get our feminine vibe on together. Ciao for now.